What is going on, people of the wild, wild web? We're heading on the next leg of the Sunshine Coast Trail. We're doing three nights. We are hiking from the Shingle Mill Pub, so from Powell River all the way back to Lois Lake. So let's get her done. Right now I'm standing at Tony's Point campsite. It's just gorgeous, huge picnic bench in the water, great tenting spot right on Powell Lake. If you're coming from the Scout Mountain area, you've just stopped at the Shingle Mill, definitely put Tony's Point on the list as your spot to camp because uh, this is gorgeous. Tony was on to something. Tony was on to something for sure. Onwards and upwards, baby. Good little break, water restock, now off to Inland Lake. So we just arrived in the shores of Inland Lake. We actually walk around the lake and then we go up kind of off the backside to Confederation Lake. We're on the other side. We're just nearing Anthony Island and Anthony Island is quite literally an island. Guess who's back? It's James from Sunshine Coast Cribs, and today I'm bringing you to the Anthony Island Hut. This is island living at its finest, but this ain't no tropical paradise. We are not in the Caribbean. Let's check out the living quarters. Barn doors on the front here. Come on in, come on in. We got some beautiful skylights. We got a little mirror in here, and we've got area to sleep. It's the perfect place to toss your sleeping pads, have a great sleep, and toss your favorite buddy on the floor. Another great perk of owning this island is that you can just explore the shoreline in the evening. Once again, I'm James. This is Sunshine. Sunshine Coast Crips. Thanks for joining me for the Anthony Island tour. And uh, we're gonna have a snack and eat something because we're starving. Snack time. What are we eating? Snack time. Snack time. What's going on? Snack time. Snack time. Oh. Goodbye, Anthony Island. And we're headed to Confederation Lake. I believe it's about seven kilometers from here. You hear that breathing, people? That's the sound of fun. It's very hot, very humid. I'm sweating so much. I feel like I'm in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Na 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 Nance, Nance. I wanna watch you. What's going on? It's James. I'm back again with another SCC Sunshine Coast Cribs and I got a beauty for you right now. We're at the Confederation Lake Hut, but I'm going to show you the highlight before I show you the hut. We're going to walk this way. We've got a beautiful picnic bench on the water, a nice fire ring on the water, and there's a wonderful rowboat you can take out at your pleasure on the lake. Check out the inside here. Dark and dingy as huts are. You got a nice eating area and then you also have a classic upstairs. I'll take you up the upstairs with me here. It's a beautiful sleeping quarters and a beautiful spot to spend a night. We're going for a swim because we're hot and sweaty. James from Sunshine Coast Cribs signing out. We're doing the good old Saturday strip tease on the lake. We're stripping down, doing a nude one, and uh, it's gonna feel super refreshing. I'll see you when I got more clothes on. Peace. That film was fabulous, but tonight's a big night. The most important part of the night it is Mexican fiesta night. Pretty excited. Step one, Mexican rice. Step two, chata or shredded seasoned pork meat in a bag. Trail taco, people. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I might be breaking up with sidekicks. This is this is the best meal I've ever had. I, Laura, you gotta try this. Okay, my turn. Shut this camera up. You gotta try this. I kid you not. I had to shut the camera off. It's so good. I kid you not. This chata, probably some of the best pork I've had in my life. It's unbelievable. I, I'm, I, I'm still in shock. Wow. I'm so happy. Laura's got the first marshmallow on there. Well, there's one casualty, but uh, I actually like a burnt marshmallow. Pretty fun having this hut uh, all to ourselves. You know, we can get up to some shenanigans. Um, still torn about the fire. Oh, yeah, I guess that sounded uh, <laughs> sounded a little ridiculous. Anyways, great to have a hut to ourselves because it's peace and quiet. It's a good day. I'm pretty delirious. Catch you guys in the morning. Nighty night. <laughs> I'm just waking up. Great sleeping in the hut. It's 8.15. We slept uh, super well, all in all, in our... Uh, Little hot paradise here, waking up to the nice lake view outside. We're gonna make some coffee and uh, get this day going. We're finishing up our coffees on the balcony of the Confederation Hut. And uh, we're headed to Tin Hat Mountain today. So the first stop is Fiddlehead Landing and Fiddlehead Hut. For some reason, I woke up this morning thinking about uh, Jack Black and School of Rock. Just one problem there. The band is mine. Nobody takes away what is mine. Is I gonna make the cut? I don't know. Give it a solid seven. Se seven. <laughs> That's all I get is seven. Okay. Locked and loaded. Smell you later, Confederation Hut. This is exactly what you want to see when you're hiking. Cougar in area. Lovely. Okay, well, I didn't think I was at the Sandpiper Pub in White Rock. Jeez. What's going on guys and gals, my real estate fanatics? It's James and I'm back again with another episode of Sunshine Coast Cribs. Right now we're at the Fiddlehead Landing Hut. It's an absolute beauty, it's a classic. You got a good old A-frame hut here right on the lake, right on Powell Lake and Fiddlehead Landing. Look at this here. Wow, nice and covered under here, nice little bar. You can spin up margaritas, whatever you want for the friends. Let's check out the inside. Right here, you got a nice little office space, nice little eating area, nice and covered. I'm um, in here, we got Laura, she's getting uh, stuff ready for lunch here. And look at this, nice classic A-frame, high ceilings, smells fresh, smells like cedar, gotta love it. We're gonna make some breakfast, some oatmeal, cause we're starving. James from Sunshine Coast Cribs, signing out. So another really cool thing about Fiddlehead Landing is you can see a lot of the houses, uh, the float houses on Powell Lake. So there's lots of these on Lois Lake as well, and they're on Powell Lake. Um, you can't really build anything like this anymore, but uh, the original ones were here because of logging and stuff, and people still own them as like vacation homes and primary residences. Like there's one there. You can see two across the lake over there, and there's one right beside the hut. Uh, right here. That's actually Goat Island and that's a 1,185 meter peak on Goat Island. It's actually known as Sugar Tit Mountain. So that's the sugar tit right there, the sugary titty tit. Free the nipple, baby. Those proats, protein oats were absolutely delightful. Now we're headed to Tin Hat Mountain. I think it's going to be about 9K from Fiddlehead here. Catch you later, Fiddlehead. So here's a deer carcass, it looks like, on the trail. Look at this, a buck carcass. It's been absolutely ravaged. Probably that's why there's the cougar warning. Look at this. Bones, rib cage. The craziest thing is the head. I almost want to take that with me. That's badass. Oh yeah, we'll keep walking. 
Sweet. Stinks, eh? So it's a steady uphill all the way up to Tin Hat at 1,135 meters. Not too high, but high enough. And uh, it's gonna be a slog in the rain, a little bit of a software fest, but you know I love that. <laughs> Branches are just car washing us as we go by, making us even more wet than we already are. The brambles, gotta love the West Coast. I think we've hit maximum wetness, which is always good because once you hit maximum wetness, you can't get any wetter, so it doesn't matter. If you don't have to deal with some adverse weather conditions every once in a while, can you really call yourself a hiker? It's all part of the fun, puts a little hair on your chest. Turns a boy into a man, and you know what? Getting wet feels great. I feel like I'm at Splashdown Park right now. Rain's still pouring, we're still grinding out here. Still raining, definitely still raining. By the way, still raining. Definitely still raining. Still raining. Still raining. I like wearing this long sleeve hiking shirt as a bug defense mechanism, but I'm gonna be honest, when it gets wet, it gets quite miserable. Think wearing a dress shirt while hiking uphill in the pouring rain. That's what it feels like. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna rethink my fashion choices on the trail. So that's Hassalm Lake right there, looking at Hassalm Lake. Thank you, Lord above, the sun has finally kind of come out and the rain has finally stopped after about five hours, four hours. Yeah, of it was long. It was long of hiking in the rain. So this thing is soft, this little adventure shirt. I might switch back to a regular t-shirt. Oh my God, you can squeeze up the water. Yeah, squeeze the water. Food. Here we can see that big ugly green pole marking the top of Tin Hat Mountain. It's got a little leprechaun on it. Excited to see the top. And uh, we're getting pretty close to the hut now. I can see clearly now the rain has stopped. Oh. What's going on? Shirtless James here and we're back with another episode of Sunshine Coast Cribs, we're at the most popular crib in all of the Sunshine Coast Trail, the Tin Hat Mountain Hut. It's absolutely gorgeous. You get 360 views from the hut to the summit to the other side. It is a stunner. Come take a look inside. So here you go. Here's the main living quarters. We got uh, the sleeping quarters up here. Smells real stinky, real, real dusty in this bad boy. The Tin Hat Mountain Hut is definitely one of the most scenic, if not the most scenic hut on the trail. Definitely a hut to check out if you've never done any hut to hut hiking or want to do a single day hut hike. I've also got guides and I've got a video on how to hike the uh, Tin Hat Hut Mountain Trail as a day hike, as a loop hike. James from Sunshine Coast Cribs, signing out. Sidekicks with a view. We put the sidekicks in the pot, what happens? Next thing you know, rainbow. I don't think so. That's not, uh, that is in no way a coincidence. Sidekicks, taste a rainbow. Or that's, I think that's Skittles, but look at that. Sidekicks and a rainbow. Wow, wow. Still a 10? 12. The bugs are absolutely swarming us, but we're safe. We're always safe. Couples that wear bug nets together, stay safe. together. <laughs> Put that on the Christmas card. <laughs> Hot cocoa! Hot cocoa! Voila. The first ever inaugural Tin Hat Hot Cocoa Hike mm -hmm. from hut to summit. I'm gonna enjoy my cocoa. See you on the summit.
The Tin Hat Mountain Summit is undoubtedly the best view on the entire Sunshine Coast Trail. It's the only place you're getting a true mountain view and a true 360 in all directions. Really gives you such a good lay of the land and it's just gorgeous up here. No, my hot cocoa! Another fabulous day and another hut to ourselves. Tin hut hat hut. Tin hut. <laughs> <laughs> tin hat hut. I still can't do it. I've said it like a million times and I still can't do it. Hut. Tin hat hut. Hut to ourselves. Tin hat. Tin, tin hat hut. I'm just, honestly, I'm just going to bed. Good night. Good morning. 8.30 a.m. Great sleep in once again. And uh, we're going to do a regular morning routine here. It's always great to wake up to a view. Nothing fires me up more. And uh, have a couple sips of coffee. And get hiking. <laughs> Today we've got 20 kilometers to Elk Lake. So our easiest day on this leg of the trail. Uh, it's gonna be a good one. Making our way downtown. and throw me on an anthill golly jesus i am sweating just a bunch of good old classic four switchbacks getting the heart pumping gotta love it love it i hate it but i love it you got to elk lake hut first thing you got to do when you get to a hut is uh go for a dip obviously especially if the dock is this nice cowabunga baby <laughs> That was quite the spanking I just gave myself. It's chilly, but it's fabulous. What's going on? It's James from SCC Sunshine Coast Cribs, and I'm back again with another tour. We are at the Elk Lake Hut, a beautiful open concept hut on Elk Lake, 825 meters above sea level, fully open concept. This house boasts a beautiful eating area, huge windows, lots of places to hang your laundry, and a great view of the lake. Out front, you've got an awesome dock and a sweet little fireplace that you can swim off and eat dinner at. Now we'll check out the upstairs. The upstairs in this one is a little bit interesting. It's fully open concept, open air. So the bugs do manage to get in. So it's smart to set up a tent if you're staying in here. Enough talking, James from Sunshine Coast Cribs, signing out. Look what I found, a canoe. Looks like we're going out for a paddle. So first thoughts, it's not sinking and it's actually quite a wonderful ride. I don't know anything about canoes, but it cuts the water real nice. Now it's time for uh, another sidekick's dinner. So oh, we'll get that started. Thought that'd be like a much smoother canoe exit. We got a banger fire going and it's time for dinner and you know what we're eating, chicken fried rice sidekicks. This is a new one, a new test. We don't even know what this tastes like, but I already know it's gonna be delicious. It was an absolutely marvelous evening. Sidekicks dinner was spectacular as per usual. We had a killer fire with a friend named Lou who's from Taiwan, who's hiking the trail by himself. And uh, we had some desserts, had some tea, and now we're headed off to bed. So, uh, good night. Mm -hmm. We're waking up at 6 a.m. It's our last day on the trail. Today we got a big push. We got about 20, six or so K on the trail to the 136 mark and then six kilometers out on the logging road to the truck. So like a 32 kilometer day. 
We're gonna start the morning like we always do. We're gonna pack away the tent, make some coffee, brush our teeth, and get on the road. So we'll get to it. On the road again, first stop in about six kilometers is Coyote Lake. Time for breakfast. Quick stop at Coyote Lake, we're having breakfast. Today we've got a different type of cereal. Four point five K to Walt Hill, twenty one to the dam. We got a long ways to go. What is going on? Guess who's back? You know who. It's James from SCC Sunshine Coast Cribs, and we're checking out the Walt Hill Winterized Cabin. Let's go check it out. This is another winterized cabin on the Sunshine Coast Trail. You've got an amazing view out front. You can see all of the lakes Powell has to offer. Fantastic viewpoint, great tenting opportunities with major views. But if you want to stay warm and cozy, you can opt to stay in the hut. Let's go check it out. In the hut, pretty standard, pretty much identical to its brother, sister, the Tin Hat Hut. Got a great little dining area. You got a nice little view out from here. You got your classic pellet stove if you want to, you know, stay warm in the winter. Let's go check out the upstairs. It stinks a little bit. It's got a scent up here. It's probably all that old mattresses. So, uh, I'm gonna boogie on out of here and uh, I'll go take you to the viewpoint where we're gonna have uh, our little lunch here because uh, the viewpoint is fabulous. James from Sunshine Coast Cribs, signing out. Goodbye Walt Hill Hut and uh, pretty much we just have a bit of a meander uh, all the way back to Lois Lake. 13 to the lake and 6 to the road where we can hitchhike. Bingo bango. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Oh, jeez. So we're now at the Lois River, and this river is actually blocked off by the, uh, the Lois Lake Dam. Lois Lake's a man-made dammed lake, a damn nice lake. So we're crossing over the river, and then we'll loop back to our end point, which is down Canoe Main into Highway 101. And now we gotta go up the valley. joining us guys it was a fabulous hike i'm waiting for a ride so i can get an ice cold pint back in powell river and pick up my truck if you see a guy with crazy hair on the side of the road maybe he's just a hiker and not a serial killer i'll leave you with that